All right, so I thought I'd do a video reviewing these four tail lights. All of these will mount to either the uh, bicycle seat tube or to the bars that are underneath the seat on most common seats. Um, I'm going to mount mine on the bottom of my Telarius seat, which is going to be much different. But uh, that's what most of these are designed to do, or designed to do, and um, I'm going to modify mine to do something a little different. Um, but anyway, um, regardless of what you're going to mount it to, I think my review is going to be pretty good here for whatever application you're going to use it for. So to get right to the bottom of it kind of right away, the one I like the best and the one I'm going to keep is uh, this one here, which pretty much has no name brand that I can see. All it says is bike alarm, tail light with turn signals. But it uh, <clears throat> by far has the best features, I think. Uh, maybe not by far, but uh, overall has the best features. Um, let's see. First of all, um, what I like about it is that the light is fairly bright. Any one of these ones, I'm going to run it as a stationary tail light. There's all kinds of options you can change these lights to, different flashings and different things like that. Um, for this one in particular, you can just run like this if you want. You can have this mode. You can go with this mode as you're just driving down the road. You can go with this one that kind of pulses. This one that blinks pretty dang bright like a strobe. And this is probably what I would run most of the time. What I really like about this one is how obvious the left and turn right signal is. Not only does it make a noise for you to hear so you know it's on, which is going to be good for me. It's going to be underneath my motorcycle type seat, which I'm not going to be able to see it, so there you go. That's pretty dang obvious. I want to turn right. I can hear that sound. I can hear this sound. I want to turn left. Push it again. It turns off and goes right back to the same light. What else is awesome about this one is how bright it gets when you hit your brake or change the speed at a different speed, so I'm going to try to do that. See how dang bright that gets. It's pretty dang awesome. Letting people know that you're decelerating. Pretty good. Also, this one talks about this button here on the remote would be for a front headlight. So if you wanted to add something like that. This one also, uh, like it says in the box here, and I mentioned has an alarm, which is pretty dang awesome. The other ones don't have that at all. So, turn that on, that arms the alarm. That lets the guy know not to touch your bike. He really messes with your bike. Pretty slick. different light features you can have as you're driving on the road, the pulse, the one I would use, nope, there, that's the one I'd use. All right, now, oh, also, uh, this, the mounts are nice on this. Rubber lined here, rubber lined here, stainless hardware, nice rubber lining for the around the seat post mount. I'm gonna figure out a way to mount this on an L bracket, um, under the stock light on the Telaria. What else is pretty cool is that, uh, so say you wanted to uh, leave your bike somewhere and you want to set the alarm, you have this mounted on your bars, twist this off, set your alarm, off you go, someone messes with your bike, now it's now it's set, that noise there, now someone messes with your bike, someone really messes with your bike, pretty darn slick. One other thing that the bike alarm tail light with turn signals has that none of these other uh, lights have 
is a horn. You push the button. Pretty dang loud and annoying actually, but yeah, it's there. Uh, there's a couple different settings. Um, you can make a different noise with it, but it is really loud and yeah, more of a piercing alarm uh, than a horn, I think, uh, but pretty darn cool if you don't have any horn on your bike at all and you really want somebody to pay attention to you, um, that's going to get it. Okay, switching this one back to the mode I would keep it at and comparing it to these others here. Uh, first of all, the Milan and the Rock Bros is the same exact light as far as I can tell. The packaging is the same. Everything seems to be the same. Um, I don't really like the way that this would wrap around your handlebar in an, uh, order to take it off. I don't know. It just seems like a cheesy mount compared to um, what we got going on over here. Um, things I do like about the Rock Bros and the Milan is that it has this really cool um, laser feature which I thought would be pretty awesome at night um, not sure if you can see this line that it would make on each side of your bike as you went down the road on the road kind of a diagram uh, here in this picture here I thought that was a pretty cool feature but uh, what I don't the main things I don't like about this one the reason I'm not gonna go with this one at all is um, the brake feature doesn't really seem to work, um, so I would run it in this mode here. There's different modes, blinking and whatever, like the other one. But I would run it in this mode, and then when you go to try to demonstrate the brake or make it brake, it, it doesn't. It, the brake light, it doesn't get brighter. It stays the same, and then if you shake it enough, it goes to this mode here. So that seems to be the only choice, so... I guess if you hit your brake hard enough, it would go to this mode, but it's going to go to this mode for a certain amount of time. There doesn't, and then it finally stops until you do something hard enough again to. Yeah, again, well, there you go. Finally, it goes to that. So, you know, not a brake feature, it doesn't seem at all. I can't seem to get the brake feature to work. Um, so main reason why I'm not going with this one is that. Um, what else is, uh, that's pretty decent, the, the, the brightness of the light running or whatever, I kind of like better than uh, the Bike Alarm one. But, um, yeah, that obvious brake coming on versus nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, pretty nice blinkers, though. Definitely lets the drivers behind you know what's going on, what you want to do. Back to the left. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, but can't really get past the fact that, you know, the main feature, I think, really is to let the drivers know that, well, first of all, you're turning. For second of all, you want to hit the brakes, or you are hitting the brakes, and uh, this one doesn't really do it. Um, so that's the Rock Bros, Rock Bros, and the Milans, both pretty much the same exact thing. You can see again, you move it a little bit, it just goes to that. Um, yeah, decent blinkers. Oh, here's the different modes for the light on the Milan and the Rockstar. You can run with this as you drive down the road. You can run with this as you drive down the road. This, this, this one. All of them pretty eye-catching, but unfortunately, none of them making it so that the driver behind you knows you're hitting the brakes. Both of them with the cool laser, super cool. Really wish uh, the brake alarm one had the laser, but it does not, um, let's see, turn the laser off, same signals, again, the Milan and the Rock Rose, same thing, same exact one, as far as I can tell, 
Okay, moving on to this one here. Uh, things I didn't really like about it is, uh, first of all, the handlebar mount uh, seems very cheesy. Um, the metal here is not high quality at all. And this plastic uh, is super thin, and I don't think that's going to hold up uh, very good for what I'm going to be using it for. Maybe a regular commuter bike or something like that would be okay. What I do like about it is rather than these, which are supposed to be some type of a motion sensing brake sensor to make the light come on, uh, this one you just go ahead and push the button to make it go bright. Um, not super bright, but it does definitely go bright. Um, the driver behind you should be able to see the difference there. Uh, the signals seem pretty good. Right signal, left signal. Again, uh, no sound on this one, so if you, um, yeah, no way to let you know that that's on, so I'm not sure what you're supposed to do there besides uh, just remember. So just push it there to turn it on, push it back to turn it off. Uh, different light modes on this one. Again, you can cruise down the road with this blinking all the time, and then that would be your brake light. So driving down the road, brake light. Turn it off. Turn on this mode off so that's pretty much it for this one very simple um, I believe this one was a pretty good price I sure hope it is because it's pretty darn simple um, yeah left turn right turn brake light So one other problem with this one that I've seemed to have found is that um, the pairing of the remote and uh, the unit here itself, uh, every time I go to turn it back on, I need to really mess with the buttons quite a bit to get it to communicate again. Whereas all these others, I shut them off, I turn them back on, and the remotes are uh, communicating with the light very easily. This one takes a little bit, you just kind of push a few buttons. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but uh, eventually it does work you know, fairly quickly. But um, right away, sometimes um, it's not communicating, or the other ones do. Okay, so let's compare the two lights here. Um, this is uh, this one, and this is the alarm one. Uh, so here's the two different brightnesses uh, that I would normally run just cruising down the road. Let's uh, see the one on the left when, the, when you push the brake light light, it goes that bright. Uh, the one on the right, if you were to hit the brakes, it would come on all much brighter. So again, yeah, my main thing is I'm looking for a bright brake light. That seems to be much brighter for sure. Uh, these two didn't give me any brake light at all. Basically, you had to really shake the crud out of it in order to get it to change to some kind of flashy mode. Um, and then, if you compare, uh, the other thing that's really important to me is the signal. I want to make sure the driver very clearly understands that I'm taking a turn. So. Yeah. Both of them do a pretty darn good job. I think um, the bottom one is much more clear as to absolutely, I'm talking about going left. I'm talking about going right. Plus I can hear it and I know that I can turn it off when I need to. Yep, without a doubt, the no name except bike alarm tail light with turn signals is the one I'm going with. And uh, figure out how to mount that sucker on Right below my other tail light, uh, probably just an aluminum uh, L bracket, will do the trick. Let's we'll see how it goes when we get to there. So I'll put a link in the description of uh, the one here that I picked. Uh, these are all on Amazon, by the way. Uh, that's that one there. Uh, the Rockstar and the Milan, again, those are both the same one I, as far as I can tell. And uh, this last one here, I'll put a link in there for all of those. Um, all pretty darn good lights. Um, this one is uh, for sure for what I want, uh, which is really obvious. I'm hitting the brakes, 
really obvious I'm making a left or right turn. Um, yeah, the alarm feature is very cool too. The horn feature is uh, unique to it as well. Uh, none of these others had that, although these had the laser feature, which I thought was pretty darn cool. Uh, this was the most basic um, with the least amount of features. 